Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you all are doing great and you're having a good week or you had a good week. Today is Friday, the 28th of July. Wow, time is going by so fast. I have taken, I took a couple days off and I just was trying to reorganize and do some house cleaning and I decided that at, in the evening, I'll work on the silk kit, but in the daytime, I'm going to be working on other things. So I started a counted kit, and this isn't super, super big. It's a 14 count 9 by 12 and of the Grand Canyon, and this is from the Posey Collection. I found it on um, 1, 2, 3 Stitch. So I started it, and then I realized that I had the fabric going the wrong direction. So now I'm having to rip out everything that I started. But I decided to get brave and I figured this was a really good kit for counted because it's not full coverage and I think it would be a lot, it, pretty easy to follow. So wish me luck on that one. Today what I have for you are some items for review from Everyday eCrafts. They were kind enough to send me these things to check out for them. Uh, before we start, a huge hello and thank you to all my subscribers. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It makes a huge difference with YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything upcoming. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. So let's get going on this. Everyday eCrafts is a all-around crafts shop. It's got your diamond painting, your paint by number. You can order custom pictures done, um, cross stitch wax seal, silicone molds, puzzles. They have a plethora of different kinds of crafting things for you to choose from. So if you haven't been there, I will have a link down below for you to check them out. Okay, the first thing I got, I got this kit because I thought it was beautiful. It's a, a Joy Sunday wannabe, I guess, because it doesn't say Joy Sunday, but it's got the logo up there. This is a 14 count. 36 by 40 centimeter. It's called Butterflies Love Flowers number 13. I just thought that was just so pretty. So pretty. Let's take it out and take a look. You've got the reusable pouch, which is awesome. The wonderful and wonderful instructions on the back with your diagrams, how to pick your floss. These are always great kits for beginners. How to soak it afterwards to get all your color, your ink out. So, Let's see what we got here. Okay, so here's the picture without the glare. And I just think it's so pretty. Got the butterflies, and you've got all the different flowers in the shape of a heart. So pretty. And then we've got the pattern. It's 160 stitches across by 170 vertically. And we actually have quite a few colors here. It's full stitch, so you do have some back stitching. Like, you know, the the little curly cues off, off the vines. And there are one, two, seven back stitching colors, 38 regular colors around the butterfly, too, I think, up here. Really pretty. And, you know, not only only some flowers and but the butterflies for emphasis, but you won't need to back stitch the majority of this. It's a partial, so the background you won't need to stitch at all. Very clear, easy to read, very basic symbols, just numbers and alphabet. And then they break down the picture to show you what page your pattern is on in case you need to refer back to this for anything. Let's take a look at the pattern on the canvas. And we're going to get a measurement on this too. Okay. This is really clear, very, very easy to read. We've got the lovely surged edges, your product number at the top, the charting so that you, the gridding, so that you'd be able to find an area if you need to get down to that. And just really nicely printed. Really nicely printed. And I like this because it's a, I call this a good medium size maybe. It's not too big, it's not too small. Let's see what size it is. 
Okay, so horizontally, it's going to be uh, not quite 11 and a half inches wide by 12 and a half inches vertically. Yeah, all this in here you won't have to stitch. So, I mean, yes, there's a lot of confetti in the middle. You do have some color blocks here. Not a whole lot, but some. But I just think this is a gorgeous picture. One thing to keep in mind with this brand of kits is that your embroidery flash symbols on this canvas do not match what is on the actual paper pattern here. So while they use alphabet and numbers on the paper pattern, the actual printed fabric is going to be symbols. So don't let that confuse you. You get your the number of your floss and your DMC codes on both. But yeah, this is really pretty. I like this. It's stiff, but we all know how to how to stiffen them up, scrunch them, roll them. It's not going to hurt anything. The only thing that's going to hurt this is liquid because then you will blur the symbols if you have wet hands or if something spills, and that's where that paper pattern will come in super, super handy. Let's look at the floss here. Oh my goodness, such beautiful flower colors. You get your two, two needle, three needles actually this time. Three needles in a bag. Look at these gorgeous colors. So many different shades of pinks and greens and purples. And then over here, because they give us two, two floss cards. So on these, we've got some teals and greens, some blues. Such pretty colors. Let's look at this side. Oh my goodness, look at the yellows, oranges, more greens, purples. So pretty, nice soft cotton floss. Let's see if we can do that with this. There we go. Such pretty, pretty colors. This will be just absolutely beautiful when it's done. I think the colors are just stunning. Colors like this with a, flat, a picture that's so pretty like this just make me so happy. Make me really happy. I, I just love this picture. This kit was $9.99. Now, Everyday E-Crafts has free shipping over 50 they also have 30% off your order. So that makes this really great. You just put everything in your cart. You don't need a coupon code. Automatic 30% off. And they have thousands and thousands of images to choose from. And pictures. and It's just amazing. Now, this next one made me laugh because if you watch Stitchin' with Laura, I think she had one recently that was maybe even this same one. So we all are loving these stained glass kits right now. This is from a unnamed manufacturer. It They have improved their quality, I believe. And let's see what we got here before I show you the picture. We have our toolkit and our reusable bag with our five needles and our puffy ball, our threader, and adjustable thimble. Like I say, the only thing missing are the scissors or the snips. All you need there. Same instructions from the back of a Joy Sunday package, but just printed on smaller paper. Nice, easy to read instructions. Now this picture, I'll put it up on the screen because you, it's hard to see, but it's the owl surrounded by flowers. A stained glass owl. He is super, super cute. They have so many choose from now with the stained glass design. Oh my gosh, so many to choose from. If you wanted to, to do the collection of them because you just love them so much, oh, that'd be a lot of kits. They just keep coming out with more. This is 190 stitches wide by 190 stitches tall. So it's a square, 11 count this time with the product number. It's a 50 by 50, and we have 40 colors, which I think is a good amount of colors. If it was 30, excuse me, I don't think I would have said that. But 40, yes. This pattern is a little on the small side, 
but it's very readable. It's not hard to understand at all. Now this 03 area that you see, the blue, this color um, blue that's all over is all going to be 310 black. But you've got, you know, you've got your areas of confetti, but they're not too crazy. I don't see any blurring on here at all. It's nice and easy to read. I think this is just going to be a beautiful picture. Really, really pretty. And yeah, you've got, like I've said recently with this manufacturer, when it comes to red especially, it seems like you've got your areas here where you've got more than one red symbol. You've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five different red symbols all together which I think is kind of ridiculous, especially if you have a hard time seeing. I guess this is where magnifiers would come in good. Let's see how it is on the actual pattern. That just can get so confusing for the eyes. So this is a nice big pattern. Let's see if I can go out a little bit. No, that just takes it in more. This is as far out as I can go. But it's got all the same information that you find on the on the paper pattern along with the same symbols so the legend's going to have the same symbols on the fabric as it does on the paper pattern unlike the last one let's look at that area again but on here where it was all those red symbols together now this fabric and these squares are bigger than the paper pattern so being that it's bigger and it's printed on there, I just want to make sure it's not blurry. It's really easy to read. The symbols are staying in their own square. I think I would start with the symbol in here that is has the least amount because as you're stitching, it gets kind of hard to see. So I would probably do the least amount of, I don't know. And then we have these symbols up here, but they're all the same. These are nice surged edges on here. Always like to see that. Let's do a measurement on this picture because 50 by 50 is usually the, the fabric size, not the actual picture size. And it's 17 and a quarter across. Let's see, it's supposed to be the same up and down. Let's see if it is. Yes, it is. Oh, wow, it's perfect. It's a perfect square. 17 and a quarter by 17 and a quarter. So it's gonna be full coverage because I think you're just not gonna get the stained glass look on this one if you don't do all this black in the background. But I think doing all this black, it's just gonna go so fast. Really, really is. I don't know if I do the black first, but um, how cute is he? What a cute little owl. This one was $14.99. So that 30% off that they're offering right now would come in real handy. I think if you haven't looked at these stained glass kits in these shops, you go and just look at them. And they have the same images in diamond painting too. I haven't checked paint by number, but I wouldn't be surprised. Here we've got, if you store things separately, you've got your item number so you can match it up real easy. And then we have three, three hanks of 310, which I suppose is to be expected. You've got 40 strands per hank, and this is an 11 count. So your six, six strand floss, you'll use three strands. Let me just put those there. Let's look at these colors because I want to see how bright they are. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh. What a tangled web we weave here. 
with all this floss. Okay, so two floss cards. We've got some, oh, I love this yellow. What yellow is this? This is 3822. I love that yellow. That is one of my all-time favorite colors. We've got some beautiful blues, and that is like a, a, a pink, a dusty pink. Let's see, that is 3832. Beautiful colors. I'm going to just put these hanks of black up here, and then I'll just kind of, I'm curious. Yeah, that will definitely stand out against the black. Look at that. We've got burgundy, reds, blues, beautiful, beautiful jewel tone colors with this. I think we'll just be stunning against that black. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful picture. And then on this side, we've got more blues. Is that 939? No, it's 823, dark navy, grays, greens, browns, some turquoise golds. What is this? That's beautiful. 36. 37.50. Oh my goodness, that's like a dark teal. Such pretty colors with this kit. Beautiful, beautiful. And you know, if you buy this kit in 11 count, you think, and you can, this applies to any kind of these stamped cross stitch kits, and you think, you know, this picture is a bit big. I really want it to be smaller. If you've got some 14 count Ada or some 16 count Ada, you can use this paper pattern. You can use all this floss and just go do it as a counted cross stitch on a, a smaller size fabric, smaller count fabric, and you'll end up with a smaller picture. And that's really super doable. I mean, you that's the one thing about cross stitch. I was watching um, some videos last night of some absolutely gorgeous primitive folk art, art cross stitches, but they did it on like 40 count linen. And I was like, you're out of your mind. There's no way I'd be able to even see that, even with a magnifier. I think I'd get some crazy eye strain. But like they were saying, just because we did it on 40 count linen doesn't mean you have to. You can, that I love cross stitch because of that. You can personalize it and customize it and say, hey, I want to do a Let's see, 40 count linen would be 20 count Ada. I want to do um, this on 14 count Ada. Or I want to do this on 25 count, um, what's it called? Even weave or whatever. You could switch this over and it would just change the size of your picture. Make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to do that. You've got that option and you've got that variety and I just love that about cross stitch. You can really kind of make it your own. Um, I love cross stitch. I love diamond painting because I'm really so good at following directions. But if you, I could never chart and make my own designs, never in a gazillion years. I'm not that creative. But with something like this, you can kind of like say, oh, I want to do it a little bit different and make it your own. And I think that's just be a wonderful thing. So like I said, this kit was $14.99, but they do have 30% off everything in your cart right now. I will have links for these products down below along with the link to Everyday eCrafts in the description. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.